let's hear a bell, slow and regular. If we want to count how many from these small pulses are contained in one bell, we would find 13. Now let's hear another bell played by the left hand. It's also completely regular but slower. Let's hear these two bells, like two layers, very regular, but not at the same speed. The bell in the left hand is slower than the bell in the right hand. As far as we have only two voices or two layers of bells, it's easy to follow the speed of each of them or the combination between them, the rhythmical combination, the polyrhythm. Now what happens if a third one starts to ring and this third bell rings faster, we could count seven small, short, pulsated notes. Let's hear the three layers together. Well, it's still possible to recognize three lines, but it becomes a little tricky, a little intricate. What happens if we had a fourth line? This fourth line will be played by the left hand, and it is an eleven one. Well, there are 11 short pulsated notes in each bell. Shall we still hear four lines or something else? seems to us, I think, that it is more statistic the way how we hear. We never know when the next bell will ring and what will be the rhythmical uh, connection that we can make between them. And now what happens if we add a fifth, a sixth, a seventh one, all at different speeds, one four sixteenth notes, one with five, a little slower, and the last one, the fastest one, in three. Well, let's hear how this polyphony that becomes more and more dense is perceived. 
at the start, like a polyphony or a polyrhythm, we hear clearly lines, but little by little, when we have more and more lines, we hear more and more a kind of very organized chaos. From the top of the piece, we had a process of a polyphony becoming thicker and thicker. And suddenly comes a second ID, completely contrasting with the first one. It's a recitative, a very spoken-like Hungarian one. same time the left hand goes on with the music we have heard before and we realize now that in fact the right hand plays always with the six same notes six notes from the white keys when the left hand plays always with its own six notes. And in fact, this happens since the start of the piece. So there are two kind of modes, one for each hand. And the harmonic language consists of the combination between these two modes with six notes. So that when the first ID comes back, we have again our rhythmical games between what I called bells, layer of bells. But in terms of harmonies, when we hear a bell here, a bell there, we'll hear also a mode here, a mode there. I play slowly the following passage in order to feel these games, this shimmering between two modes. Of course, when the hands play very close to each other, almost cross each other, then the two modes will be completely mixed. It's very hard to recognize one color or the other one. A very dense hybridation between these two modes. <laughs> 